Life Cycles of a Flowering Plant Flowering and Non-Flowering Plants Vocabulary A plant has two types of flowers, a male flower and a female flower. The male flower is called the stamen. A stamen has a part known as anther. So anther is the part of the male reproductive organ of a flowering plant. It is a bilobed pouch-like structure sitting at the tip of the stamen filament. There are two parts for the stamen that is the anther and the filament. Anther produces and stores pollen grains inside it. Now you may be wondering about the female part. The female part is known as the pistil. Like how stamen is the male, pistil is the female. Pistil contains ovary, style and stigma. Stigma is the topest part, style is the length of the pistil and ovary is the bottom part. Ovary is the female reproductive organ found in flowering plants. It is the part of the pistil which holds the ovules and is located above or below at the point of connection with the base of the petals and sepals. How anthers contain the pollen grains, ovaries contain the ovules. Spores Spores are single cell structures. These are formed during unfavorable conditions. They can survive in harsh conditions. Spores are highly resistant structures which can stand harsh conditions like high temperature, high pH, salt concentration, etc. Spores exist in variable shapes, sizes and numbers. Carpal Carpal is the fourth whorl of the flower present in the center. It mainly comprises the style, stigma and ovary, the female parts of the flower. A single flower can have one or more carpels. Stamen Stamen is the male reproductive part of a flowering plant. The stamens are arranged in a whorl. They are found in the center of the flower along with the stigma if present. They can either be one in number or as many as thousand in number. The stamens can be arranged either spirally or in a whorl. Pollen Pollen is a powdery substance produced by most types of flowers of seed plants for the purpose of sexual reproduction. It consists of pollen grains which produce male gametes. Plants with flowers Many plants have flowers. They can be called flowering plants. And some plants do not have flowers, so they are called non-flowering plants. There are many different kinds of flowers. Some flowers are big and some are very small. Some flowers are colorful, while some are not brightly colored. Some flowers have a smell, a scent. Others do not have a scent. Plant Life Cycles When a plant produces flowers, the flowers usually last only for a few days. They die and fall off the plant. However, part of the flower stays behind on the plant. This part becomes the fruit. The seeds form inside the fruit and the seeds later grow into new plants if taken care of. Then the new plants grow and produce flowers to form new fruits and seeds. So flowers help the plant reproduce to form new plants. All the changes in the flowering plant, from flowers to seeds growing into new plants, are called the plant's life cycle. A cycle is something that happens over and over again. There are different stages in the life cycle of a flowering plant. 
plant without flower not all plants have flowers plants without flowers are called non-flowering plants mosses ferns and plants with cones are non-flowering plants some non-flowering plants such as ferns mosses do not form seeds instead they make tiny spores that can grow later into new plants other non-flowering plants such as pine trees do form seeds but their seeds form in cone and not a form a flower now let's answer a few questions name an example of a flowering plant that you have seen or know of an example is lily there are many more name an example of a non-flowering plant that you know or see that is fern in what ways are flowering plants different to non-flowering plants plants are of two types flowering plants and non-flowering plants they have a few similarities that is they can make their own food they have a green substance known as chlorophyll they have roots stems and leaves but there are also a few differences flowering plants have flowers they reproduce by seeds whereas the non-flowering plants do not have flowers and they reproduce by spores why don't we usually find flowers and fruits on a peach tree at the same time this is because the peach fruit is made from the peach flower on the same tree so peach trees began budding flower for the year's crops during the previous year this shows that the buds are already grown when winter arrives in such a situation the tree do not have the resources in order to produce flower buds for the upcoming year's crops which results in no fruit on peach trees the following year actually the peach trees are self fertile so they just need one variety to produce the fruit also the peaches can produce fruit every year with just one variety now let's learn about the parts of a flower flowers have four parts these parts are arranged in rings one inside the other most of the flowering plants have flowers with both male and female parts that is the stamen and carpel or the pistil but some plants have flowers with only one male part or female part and not the both think like a scientist collect flowers you will need different kinds of flowers make sure you wash your hands after touching the flowers collect a range of different flowers group the flowers according to their size color and scent how many groups can you make draw pictures of one of the flowers label any parts of the flower that you know try to name the flowers did you know what is observing over time in investigations we often need to observe changes caused by things we do for example what happens to water when we freeze it or what happens when we mix sugar and water how often we need to observe depends on the changes we are looking at we can see some changes straight away such as the change in the color of iodine solution when starch is present if we observe what happens when we mix sugar and water we can see the change in a few minutes the changes of water when it freezes will take a few hours to observe observing changes in nature can often take longer when we investigate what happens when a seed germinates we need to observe changes over days or weeks depending on the type of seed we will need a whole year to observe the changes that happen as the seasons change 
Check your knowledge. You can answer to these questions by referring to the video. What are the flowering and non-flowering plants? Define anther, ovary, spores, carpal, stamen and pollen. Give examples of plants with flowers and without flowers. Explain plant life cycle. In what ways are the flowering plants different from non-flowering plants? Name the parts of the flower. Give a few examples of observing over time.